Here we go, 3-68. While David was solving the equation 100x plus 300 equals 500, he wondered if he could first change the equation to x plus 3 equals 5. What do you think? Part A. Solve both equations and verify that they have the same solution. Well, that should be pretty easy here. Let's go ahead and solve each of these equations. So the first one, 100x plus 300 equals 500. Well, we're just going to subtract our 300 from each side. And we get 100x equals 200. And we know that 100 times 2 should give us 200. At least where I come from it does. So x should equal 2. Well, let's solve the second one there. Some number plus 3 equals 5. And we got it. X equals 2. So David was wondering if he could do, if he could get the same thing here. And he can. So what could you do to the equation 100x plus 300 equals 500 to change it into our second equation? And if we look at it there, we have 100x plus 300 equals 500. Each of those three numbers there has a common factor that goes into them. That number would be 100. So if we took our equation and we divided both sides of our equation by 100, 100x divided by 100 is x, 300 divided by 100 is 3, and 500 divided by 100 equals 5. So David can divide each side of his equation by 100. Smiley. Hope this helps. This is problem 3-68. If you have more questions, please make sure you ask your teacher.